Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Now, 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 now. If you are tuned in, thank you ever so much. You're welcome. Okay, now let's make a festive chicken dish. That in Dudu by Fafes Twist. So to my sanka, which is the earthen clay bowl with internal ridges and the wooden pestle, I've added my ginger, cumin seeds and cucumber, yes. And then I have slow cooked my anchovies with onions and garlic. You know, absolutely beautiful. But I've solved all of that in this bottle. So whenever you grab any of the anchovy atadi sauce or abobitati oblona, my own version of it, yes. You can make this quickly. So, of course, I've activated my core. And here, I'm just going to be grinding this until, you know, everything is well combined, as I always say. And if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you so much for gracing me with your presence. Now that my marinade is ready, I'm just going to rub it all over the chicken, paying particular attention to under the skin of the chicken as well, because we want that flavor to permeate through this chicken, the whole point of the recipe really. So at this point, it looks like the chicken is definitely well covered. And now I'm just going to be drizzling a little bit of olive oil all over it. Now I'm going to allow the chicken to marinate in the marinade and this should take a minimum of two hours in the refrigerator. Better still, if you can marinate this overnight, that's great. Now when you're ready to cook it, bring it out of the fridge, mm -hmm. bring it up to room temperature which would take about five to ten minutes and then, in my case, I'm using my clay pot here. I'm transferring the marinated chicken into the clay pot. And, of course, adding all the juices and beauty in there. This is the point that I do add my salt to my chicken. And, of course, I'm going to rub it all in just to make sure that it's well seasoned. At this point, preheat your oven to 180 degrees because, yes, we're going to be baking this beautifully. And as you can tell, I've now just stuffed that chicken with that marinade. <laughs> yes, this is not any other food. This is in Dudu by Fafa. Now, in terms of the flavor, yes, you're not going to get too much of an anchovy flavor because... We are going to be adding something later. So you need to watch to the end to find out how I balance all these flavors together. And if you've watched so far to this point, thank you very much. I'm appreciative of you. In effect, this is a one pot dish. No fuss at all. Exactly. So here I'm peeling the potatoes. And once I do that, I'm going to wash it and then divide this in two. I need it in that big size, yes, um, because of course I'll be baking this with the chicken. Once I've divided the potatoes in two, I'm now going to add a little bit of salt and then my dried rosemary because that flavor is incredible. Potatoes and rosemary, I'll say they're first cousins. They just, mwah, mwah, a match made in heaven. And of course, I'm mixing everything together until it's well combined. So at this point, I then decided to throw in um, my banana shallots. Yes, yeah, so you can use any other onion that you do have available. But if you can get hold of the banana shallots, absolutely amazing. And particularly if you're in Ghana and you have those bijou ones, you know, those small onions, they're intense and sweeter and absolutely beautiful. You can use that instead. Now I'm going to place the chicken on top of the potatoes so that whilst it's cooking in the oven, the juice of the chicken will then infuse into the potatoes. Even though this is a straightforward dish, I also like to play on one's palate. So of course, the potatoes that are going to be on top are going to have a slight different flavor to the potatoes that are at the bottom of the chicken exactly so that's a great point of conversation to have now that 
this is done, I'm now going to be covering this with some dried bay leaves. Yes, that is what I meant. Because, of course, the potatoes has got the rosemary in there. And the oils of the bay leaf is just going to infuse into the potatoes as well as into the skin of the chicken. So we definitely playing on all kinds of flavors around here. The aromatics, you know, that umami flavor. And we're also going to be having that citrusy flavor coming through. So, of course, after 20 minutes, I had to check everything was fine and I could just see the juice in there. So I'm just basting, you know, just reintroducing that juice into the chicken and just checking that it's all good. Now that is done, I'm just going to cover it and place it back in the oven for 10 minutes and then we are good to go. Now, when I bring it back out of the oven, I'm going to allow it to sit at least for about five minutes. Then I'm not going to be introducing my flavor to this beauty. Now, what do I mean by this? I just don't want this video to be too long. So I think I have to do a separate video on how I made this beautiful anchovy and orange sauce. So I'm just going to be pouring a little bit over it. Yes, as you can tell. And then I'm going to be covering this because the beauty about the clay pot as well is it retains that heat for much longer. So it's still hot and that is just going to allow the flavors to infuse. Now, after 15 minutes, I'm ready to serve. And this is it. Exactly. This is not any other food. This is in Dudu by Fafa. So if you want to do keche for Christmas, try this recipe. Absolutely. And if you do and you love it, please don't forget to leave a comment or two. Share with your family and friends. Say, um, yes, let's tell them. Go like, yeah, there's this uh, lady that creates these wacky flavors. Yeah. Is that an apt description? Maybe not. Maybe so. But I'll leave that um, to you guys to discuss. Absolutely. But here we have our pièce de resistance. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So now... What do you have to do? If you definitely like this and you really want to try it, yes, you definitely need to visit buyindudu.com where you can grab a bottle or a box um, of the anchovy sauce or the abobi tadi. I've also created um, a Christmas box which has all the five um, chili sauces that we do have. And yes, you can grab our spice blends or seasonings and that just adds that flavor, that distinctive indudu flavor to your dishes. Naturally, you'll find um, traditional African recipes on my blog, indudubaifafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as indudubaifafa. So pass by and say hi. Norel, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next recipe with you, kings and queens, take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, be gorgeous. And guess what? I love you for you. Thank you very much for watching.